Okay, I didn't show you taking it out of the bag, but that's the ammo I picked up. I picked up coffee. Let me get this set up. I've got it on the tripod here, folks. I noticed the last video I did, the window was right behind me and kind of uh, blurred me out. <laughs> so, here we go. Uh. Now, let's sit down and have ourselves some coffee and I'll move this closer, dog. Got it. Coffee and talk ammo. As you can tell, I picked up the PMC. It's a uh, 223 ammo. They had some cheaper stuff in, but I picked that up because I like the PMC as well. I think I spent $11 on that. It's just a little bit more than I told my wife if I was going to spend, so I'll have to talk to her about that. The coffee, well, that was... Ended up being about $13.49 before tax. $1.91 tax added to it. So, yeah. So, I better enjoy that coffee. Our Keurig gave up the ghost. Again. <laughs> but, I wanted to talk to you about different type ammos. What little I know about it. Uh, where I went today, Shields, they had... 38 special in. They had 38 357 snake shot in. They had the 40 Smith and Wesson in. I didn't check on 10 millimeter. They had 9 millimeter in in various prices. They even had the Remington 9 millimeter bucket of 9 millimeter in. <laughs> let's put it this way it was way more than what I paid for my bucket of 9 millimeter before all this went nuts I seen some 270 ammo in which is a surprise seen oh good grief Plenty of 223, 556, but the prices could scare the hide right off of you. 22 ammo. I seen prices from $5 on up, which was nice to see that some of the prices are starting to come down where the average person can buy a box or two. Uh, I've seen some six millimeter Creed Moore, not 5.6 or 6.5, excuse me. I'll get it right. Seen some uh, 350 Legend in. They had no primers for reloading. I checked that out. They're still carrying only one type powder. They haven't gotten any of the <clears throat> trail boss powder in that I used for my 45 reloads. They didn't have any 45 Colt in, but they had 45 ACP. Last time I picked up ammo, in the 223 was this wolf ammo in the steel case. This has got a 
plastic kit clip holding all the ammo together. <sighs> That'd be an interesting staggered magazine. What? Or a straight magazine like that? I'm just thinking that off the top of my head. But some people prefer the brass case over the steel case. That's all right, too, you know. I'm just glad to have a little of both in case I need some for putting holes in paper. Because, you know, I have fun trying to see if I can hit the bullseye on a paper target. And, ugh, let me get that back in the box. And I even seen some uh, 7.62 by 39 ammo in. So it's, it's slowly coming back. Slowly. Till whatever else they decide to throw our direction. And I'm talking about the politicians. Oh, we're going to tax you for this, tax you for that. You're too wealthy. We're going to tax you again. I'm working. I'm not wealthy. Why are you taxing me to death? But oh, tax the politicians. They seem to be the most wealthy folks I've seen. Next, they'll put tax on tea and coffee. I know the British tried that. That's when people got upset. Paper, tea, and spices. Well, that's about as much comparison as I can do right now with this here because I'm not at the target range. And my paycheck only goes so far. I've got a buy me a cup of coffee account started. I put that on a few of my videos. I'll try to put it on this one here. In case you want to help me get to the target range. Do a little target practicing. Or... Buy an expensive box of uh, 22 for $5.99. <clears throat> and we'll do what we can. Share a cup of coffee with you here on the channel and talk and enjoy each other's company like share and subscribe if you like these kind of videos I've got more oh I'm gonna do another video here in a little bit too I'll just get this one uploaded and I'll start on it and you'll see the reason why I haven't been doing any more scooter videos. Bye-bye.